Right, okay, so part two of this evening's Dear Matthew. Sorry, I thought I heard Navi. Cool thing about the mirrors behind me is if I have the angle just right, maybe you can see if a killer is going to come and get me. Hmm. Dear Matthew, what are some of your favorite YouTube channels? What are some of your favorite YouTube makeup gurus? What are some of your favorite TV shows besides True Blood? You look hot and beautiful in this video. Love you. Yeah, not so much for this one. Uh, signed 40 channel or Chanel 40 Chanel okay some of my favorite YouTube channels I might not know them by name but I frequent a lot of people there's this one dancer oh gosh I cannot think of his name oh anyway there's a dancer that I watch um, and sorry I was just reading a text I don't I guess I don't have an answer for that YouTube makeup gurus let's see purse buzz and Panacea 81 Queen of Blending Peach Relude who intimidates the hell out of me by the way and Miss Jessica Harlow and Julie G 313 or something I don't 617 I don't know it's something like that anyway those are some of my faves and favorite TV shows, let's see. Golden Girls, absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's my favorite. I Love Lucy. Will and Grace. Maude, even though I only own the first complete um, season of it, I have seen a few on the internet just floating around. And... I guess that's really about it. That's all the ones that I watch on a regular basis. Dearest Matthew, I've watched your videos since I was 13. I'm 16 now. God, it's crazy to believe that I've been doing this for so long. And you never fail to make me laugh with your craziness. I'm sure I picked up my fun-loving attitude from you. Girl, you always had it. <laughs> but I seem to lose myself around guys. When I see a boy I like, I'm just too shy to even look at him, not to mention talk to him. If I do, I stutter and make a fool of myself. How would you handle this? Also, are shorter men fearful of taller girls? Thanks for answering my question. Lots of love, Nessa. Hey, Nessa, hey. Okay. I can't speak on behalf of shorter men being fearful than, or because of taller girls being around them. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's that Tom Cruise syndrome where he's like, don't wear heels if we go out. You're going to upstage me yeah I do think that some guys would probably be a little uncomfortable with a taller woman I don't think they should be but I saw a couple in the mall about two weeks ago literally let me see let me find a good example this was the girl this was the guy not even kidding like they held hands and it made like a perfect angle <laughs> of sorts it was bizarre Anyway, they seemed really happy and giddy and all in love, all the things I'm not. You just have to remember, be yourself. We can't help our height any more than we can help our natural hair color and eye color. Yes, we can dye it and we can change contacts. We can wear flip-flops instead of heels or we can wear heels to accentuate our legs. You're 16. You've got your whole life ahead of you. I am almost 20 years older than you. 23 is so different from 16. So you just have to remember that the things that are important to you now probably won't be important to you in the future. As far as like how it is around guys, I get nervous around people all the time. If there's a really attractive guy around, I tend to say some stupid things. I tend to slip over my words a little bit more than usual. But I just remember that in the end, I'm me. And I make mistakes all the time. Sometimes I'll give a speech and I'll say, um, and I hate doing that, but it happens. Sometimes I'll trip and fall in front of lots of fratastic boys and they'll laugh. And then I'll make a music video to accentuate this so that people who fall in front of crazy people don't feel so bad because they're seeing somebody do it in a music video. So... Be yourself. Laugh with yourself. Laugh at yourself. If you stumble over words, what I tend to do is I repeat myself. So let's say I'll be like, hey, girl, hey, this is Fratty Matt. 
This is Friday Man. This is Matthew Francis. See, I'll do something like that so you acknowledge the fact that you said something kind of silly and you just go from there. And if you do it more than twice, then just be like, oh my God, I cannot talk for the life of me. What is wrong? Now, if he's an a-hole, he'll be like, yeah, what the hell is wrong with you? But if he's genuine, he'll kind of like giggle and let you just go on about your rant. So that would be my advice. <laughs> Point out your mistakes in a fun way. Dear Matthew, I just wanted to say that I love your videos. You always make me laugh, and I love how you say, hey, girl, hey. Whenever I hear it, I think of, oh, that's Matthew. I know you've gone through a lot of losses in your life, but I know, oh, but I think that's part of what makes you so strong. Out of all the people in your life, who has inspired you the most and why? Keeping the beautiful person you are, Tiffany. Easy. My grandfather. My Diddy was the most inspirational person I know. I think about him every single day. I tend to quote him every single day. And I try to live my life in a way that if he were still here, he wouldn't yell at me for the things that I do. I hope that I can end up being like he was for me. Not a lot of people would deal with all the stuff that I put him through, I'm sure. It's not easy for a 75 plus year old grandpappy of sorts to raise a budding drag queen. And there were times when I had to prove myself and prove him wrong. And then there were times when I had to make an ass out of myself and he had to prove me right. So, prove me wrong? Yeah, he had to prove me wrong. Sorry. <laughs> The, the bottom line is that he loved me and I loved him and no one will ever understand our relationship. There are some things that he shared with me that I will never tell a living soul. And there are things that are quite embarrassing to me but that I'll still talk about because it's just crazy and it was his nature to be funny and to pick on me in front of friends and just make me feel alive. And now that he's gone, I hope that I can do that for other people. Not specifically the masses, but if I ever do have a family, I would definitely raise them in the way that my grandfather raised me. So that they don't have a reason to rebel, but they have every reason to love and feel loved and encouraged in what they're doing. He never made me feel inadequate. He never made me feel as though I didn't belong. If there were times when I said, oh... I don't feel I belong here. I should just end it all. Well, that was all me. That was nothing that he did, and that was very selfish. So I don't think like that anymore. Everybody has a purpose for being here. Everybody has a purpose for living. And what you just have to remember is that you affect more people than you could ever know. There could be people out there who just watch us from afar and look at us and they think, oh my God, that is such a beautiful person. Not just based on looks, but the way they carry themselves or with the way they blink even. There's so many things out there that come into contact with our lives, whether we know it or not. So you just have to remember that as creepy as it sounds, you're always being watched. But let that be a guide to you. If you know that there's someone out there looking at you, admiring you, loving you for you then why can't you love you for you? Someone else sees you for what you are, what you do, how you are, how you look, and they like you just fine. If you feel like there are people out there that don't feel that way towards you, then you're just not looking hard enough. Plain and simple. So Diddy, he's the most inspirational. Matthew, what's your favorite male and female actors? Signed, California Volcano. Well, Mr. or Mrs. Volcano, let's see. Julia Roberts, Nev Campbell, Drew Barrymore, Robin Williams, uh, Megan Mullally. I have a lot of female actresses that I like better. I don't know why I'm always just critiquing. Uh, Anne Hathaway, Meryl Streep. <laughs> Lordy. Uh, let's see, guys. I really like Ryan Reynolds. I think he's brilliant. Eric McCormick from um, Will and Grace. Definitely be Arthur. Oh, God. I don't know. I could just go on all day. Now, Taylor Lautner. I like him because he's fine, but he can act and he's got pretty teeth and skin and a body and hair. And, ah! Why can't he be my agent? <laughs> Dear Matthew Darling, it's Tom again from Twitter. Hey, Tom. Hey. 
I already asked you a question before that you answered. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Went to MAG two weeks ago and bought the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and used it daily for two weeks. My skin broke out from it, and I was curious if it was from the shade or just the foundation I had gotten. Do you think the other foundation, Sculpt, Stick, etc., will result in the same breakout? How do you keep your skin so clear? Okay, I gotta be fast. Um, love Studio Fix Fluid. Doesn't bother me, even though I have more dry-ish skin. It could be a bad batch. Maybe your skin is just too dry and you need to moisturize more. I would say the stick would be a great foundation for you. However, I hear Mac is discontinuing that, so I wouldn't love it so much. Sculpt is a little bit too, like, <laughs> shellacky for me because I get hot in this humidity out here. So try Studio Tech or the Mineralized Cream. That's pretty nice. And how do I keep my skin clear? Prayer. Good night.